Welcome to the library. Let's go see a show. My name is Mad Bob, and I'm a mad scientist. Yep, Mad Bob. Not SpongeBob, though. Yeah, Mad Bob. Now, you guys know what a scientist does because they do experiments and they study things like, um, well, dinosaurs, rockets, bugs, the stars, the moon, the planets, worms, things like that. Oh, in fact, who's been to the doctor before? Probably everybody, yeah. How about the dentist? Who's been to the dentist? Sorry to hear that. You can put your hands down. Yeah, you know what, my doctor, he's a nice guy, but he's kind of weird. Yeah, I walk in his office and he goes, hi. 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 Okay, hi, you're scaring me. <laughs> okay, I want you to sit down. Don't stand up. Don't sit down. Read a book. Do some push-ups. Don't get to get over here. I got to check your heartbeat. What? Your heartbeat. Okay. Puts this thing called a stethoscope in his ears. <laughs> I think he keeps it in the freezer. He puts it on my chest. Ah, cold, cold, cold. Quiet. Got to hear your heartbeat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said I have plenty of heartbeats, so I guess that's good. But doctors and dentists, they are scientists because they do experiments and they study us. So what does a mad scientist do? Is a mad scientist mad? You know, mad like, blah! <laughs> or are they mad like, <laughs> Well, here's the difference. A mad scientist gets to have fun when they do science. So we're going to do some fun mad science today. I want to start by talking about something you probably heard in school before, something called matter. Everything is made up of what we call matter. The ground is made up of matter. This table is made up of matter. The trees outside are made up of matter. The sky is made up of matter. Uh, she's made up of matter. Uh, he might be. We're not sure. No, even he is. Everything is made up of matter. Now, here is one state of matter. Not the state of California, but state of matter. Look at these hard rocks. Who could tell me what state of matter we call something that's really hard? That guy over there? That guy. What? Solid. Give him a big hand. Very good. Solid. That is one state of matter. Here's another state of matter. Something that looks like this we call, you know what we call it? Well, it's matter, but you know what we call it? Do you know what we call it? Liquid. Everyone say liquid. Liquid. Yeah. That is another state of matter. So we have liquids. We have solids. Oh, and if you eat a big bucket of beans, you get gas. Okay. So we have gases, we have solids, and we have liquids. Uh, we're going to be talking about gas today, not that kind. <laughs> but who knows what gas we need to breathe in to live? What do we breathe in? Air. Air, and we call it oxygen, right? Yeah. If I take the air that's inside of me and put it inside of my balloon, do you think it'll get bigger? Yeah. Let's try it and see. <laughs> it's brand new. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, careful, careful. You okay? Sorry about that. I'll stretch it out. Ah! All right, I got it. All right. Never try this at home. Inside of my balloon, we have what we call air molecules. And those air molecules will stay inside the balloon as long as I keep my fingers there, right? But if I remove my fingers, 
Do you think there's so much air pressure inside this balloon that'll force itself out of the balloon? Yeah. Let's find out. Everyone stay seated. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, it did, didn't it? When I let go of the balloon, all the air pressure inside the balloon goes, hey, he let go of the balloon. Okay, let's go. In fact, there was more air pressure inside this balloon than there is out here. And it forced itself right out of the balloon. And all the air pressure out here forced the rest of the air out of the balloon because air pressure is very heavy and it's very strong. Did you know that? Air pressure is very strong. Yeah, oh. very Do you think there's air pressure inside this soda bottle? No. Let's check and see. No. <laughs> Hello. Hello? 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 Is that air pressure? Yes, it is. How you guys doing in there? Doing good. You good? Good. Okay. 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 You're okay. Well, I was thinking, I want to do an experiment with air pressure. No, 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 no. It's just an experiment. Don't do it. It's okay. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Anyway, what I was thinking. Don't do it. What I was thinking is, what if I were to suck the air out of here? No, 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 no. What's the matter? It's going to hurt. It's an experiment for them. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, if I were to suck the air out of here, do you think the air pressure out here would squish it together like my balloon? Yeah. Shall we try it? Yeah. Let's try it. No! <laughs> here we go. Three, two. Don't do it. One. <laughs> Look at that. When I drew the air out, all the air pressure out here squished it together just like my balloon because air pressure is very heavy and it's very strong. Let's put some air back inside of this thing. And now we have air pressure. How you doing in there? Don't do it again. Well, you know, I want to take even more air out of here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. But in order to do that, I have to show you this pump right here. Uh-oh. Now, this pump was made a long time ago by a scientist. His name was Otto von Gerich. Otto von Gerich lived in Germany. He was a German dude. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Otto von Gerich is in the laboratory one day thinking to himself, you know what, I'm going to make myself a pump. It's going to pump all the other out of things, but not back in. Out, but not back in. So he made this pump that pumps the air out of things. Now, if we hook this to our soda bottle and pump out more and more air, do you think it'll squish more and more? Yeah. Should we try it? Yeah. Let's try it. No! Okay, so air is stuck inside of there. Now we're going to pump the air out. Look at that. The more air I take out, the more it squishes together. Now, how come we don't squish together? Air pressure is pushing on us. What's inside of us? What? Air pressure. Yeah. We have air pressure inside of us. If you didn't, you'd be walking around like this going blah, all squished together. Well, let's put some air back inside of this thing. See if we can get it back to its original shape. And now we have air pressure. Don't do it again. Okay, we're done with that experiment. Good. 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 Okay. 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 All right, well, just say goodbye. 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 I don't like you. <laughs> Air pressure. Well, uh, let's take a look at these. What do you think these are? Oh, I know what it is. <sighs> Luke, the force is very strong with you, Luke. Darth Vader thing? Hey, it's a hat. We're out to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of all. Because, because. Maybe they're earbuds. Hello. Remember that scientist I just told you about? Yeah. Otto von Gerich. Well, Otto von Gerich's in his laboratory again on another day, thinking to himself, you know what, I'm going to take two halves and let them put them together. It's going to be a round sphere. Of course, it's a sphere. It's round. <laughs> I'm going to take my pump. I'm going to pump all the air out. And nobody's going to be able to pull apart because the air pressure is going to squish together. 
He was so impressed with this experiment, he went running up to the king, which was King Ferdinand III, by the way. Hey, king dude, hey, king dude, this guy's a really cool experiment. I'm going to take two halves. I'm going to put them together. It's going to be a round sphere. Of course, it's round. It's a sphere. I'm going to take my pump. I'm going to pump all the air out. And nobody, not even you, king, is going to be able to pull apart because the air pressure is going to squish together. The king looks at him and he goes, Alta von Gerich, you're a very stupid man. That's a stupid experiment. It'll never work. I'll tell you what, you get eight horses on each side, 16 horses all together, and they're going to pull it right apart because that's a very stupid experiment. You're a very stupid man. Alta von Gerich goes, okay, I can do it, I can do it. So he made his sphere, and it looked just like this. But it was a lot bigger than this. It was about the size of a Volkswagen. We're going to hook this up, and we're going to pump the air out, but not back in. OK, now you push that together. We're going to pump the air out. Here we go. This is the way we pump our air, pump our air, pump our air. This is the way we pump our air, so we're leaving today. You having fun? Me too. OK, a couple more pumps. Push it nice and tight while I pump. Now I'm going to shut the valve, pull this thing off. Now, if I took the air out of these, they should be stuck together. And they are. So, let's try this. Okay, come on over here now. Two fingers, one hand, grab on like this. Good. You do the same thing on this side. Two fingers, like you were doing earlier. Good. Now pull it back so it's tight, but don't pull hard yet. Don't pull hard. Now when I say pull harder, I want you to pull straight back. No twisting, turning, or dancing. Okay, start pulling now harder. Go ahead and pull it apart. Just pull it apart. Just pull. Okay, wait, wait. Let me see this. Don't hurt yourself. What do you think would make this easier to pull apart? We took the air out, right? Yeah. What should we do? Should we put the air back in? Yeah. Okay, grab on. Two fingers. Okay, start pulling. Start pulling. Here comes some air. And now it came apart because we let the air back inside. And that's what happened to Otto von Gerich. All those horses could not pull it apart until they did what? Let the air back in. And the experiment worked. The whole town was excited, especially Otto von Gerich. <laughs> what do you think these are? Something, Something for emergency? Yeah. Stand back. Clear. <laughs> well, they are little suction cups. I wonder if I can squish the air out of these. Let me see if I can. Okay, I think I got it out. Okay, two fingers again. Two fingers again. Okay, this time when you pull back, I want you to pull again straight back. No twisting, turning, or dancing. Okay, start pulling. Go ahead and pull it apart. Just pull it apart. Good. Wait, let me see this. Let me see this. It's not that hard. All you got to do is that. What did I do that made that so easy? I let a little air in the side. If you don't let a little air in there, you cannot pull these apart because air pressure is very heavy, and it's very... Strong. Now, why do you think I have toilet paper and a plunger? I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I want to tell you about another scientist. This guy's name was Mr. Bernoulli. Now, Mr. Bernoulli did a lot of experiments with air pressure, and uh, he discovered that air pressure creates lift. So if I were to blow on this toilet paper, do you think it would go up or down? Up. How about if I blow on the top, up or down? It went up again. That's what Mr. Bernoulli said. Air pressure creates lift. So I want to do a little experiment. Noah, I want you to hold this with both hands like this. Be careful where you point that. <laughs> yeah, right there that way. If Mr. Bernoulli's right, and we put air pressure on this toilet paper, it should create lift. That means that toilet paper is going to go woo -woo 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 -woo, flying through the air. Your job is to get that toilet paper out of the air, wind it up on the, these things, and save it for us because we don't like to waste things, right? Right? Okay, that's what you get, girls are going to be doing. Now, Noah, we have toilet paper, we have a plunger. What else do we need? A blower. Well, we don't want a toilet, but um, we need some air pressure, right? Yeah. And I have just the thing because I brought with me today my really big hair dryer. It's my big hair dryer. I've been using it for quite a while, as you probably can tell. Now I got to remind everyone to please stay seated for your own safety. Speaking of safety, I always forget.